one of the problems about safety class, and I'm terribly sorry to say this, is that <clears throat> we don't just study the pieces of equipment, but we also study the test equipment. In fact, actually, you're going to spend more time in this class studying the test equipment than the actual piece of medical equipment. This is essentially the same meter. But what you'll notice is the terms used on the 601 are different from the 600. Notice instead of uh, resistance, it says earth leakage. Um, it, and then it says instead of chassis, it says enclosure leakage. And then there are some other changes, and trust me, we're going to go through the struggles as to how to use the 600 versus the 601. The basics is the 600 was designed for sale and use only in the United States. Well, it's, a, it's an awfully big world out there, right? So the manufacturer wanted to make something that was more standardly understood by people overseas. And for some reason, when we say line voltage, they don't understand line voltage. But if you call it mains voltage, they understand that. Does that make any sense? <sighs> Love to blame the Europeans there, but the Australians, for some reason, it works for them too. <laughs> so, unfortunately, that's the only difference between these two devices. So the 600 and the 601 are essentially the same device with a different label on them. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to connect my, uh, my uh, Calvin cable to the chassis port. I'm going to connect my plug to the back of the unit. I'm going to connect my power cord to the uh, test device. I'm going to go ahead and make sure, I'm going to go ahead and test it with the unit on. We know it won't make a difference. I'm going to make sure my, my uh, center outlet is switched to normal polarity. I'm going to make sure that my, my neutral, here they call it L2, is closed. And I'm going to turn my dial to earth resistance. And you'll notice I got my 0 .09 reading again, right? I'm going to move this down to enclosure leakage. And then I'm going to float the ground, lift the ground, and you'll notice I got my 13 uh, milliohms. Sorry, milliamps. Don't make that mistake. It says it's amps, not ohms. Mm. It's just that simple. That wasn't a hard check, was it? Well, great. This thing, um, I like the Dale products. Dale products are an awful lot like a pickup truck. A pickup truck's very good about getting you between point A and point B without any significant problem, right? Well, in every field, there has to be one device that's essentially like a sports car. Mm -hmm. And in this field, or at least in this class, it's the BC biomedical devices. Now, a lot of students, they love this device. The problem with this device is look at that. So this thing does everything under the sun. It has a, a, a heart rate simulator built into it. It doesn't have the same setup as to what you're used to and it doesn't use necessarily the same language. You'll notice how it's got earth and enclosure there uh, right here. It's got the earth resistance, uh, the earth ground leakage and enclosure leakage. So we're, we're using a very similar uh, wording as the European Dale 601. I'm going to go ahead and connect the chassis. I'm going to connect this to the back of the device. This time the plug is actually going to go into the test meter. <clears throat> now what you'll notice here is this one has some arrows and a lot of buttons. By default this is the hot here you'll notice uh, right here is the hot and the hot is open what you want to do is you want to push that and close the hot so that we actually have applied power to the device by default on power on this device will open the hot I've seen a lot of students spend 15 minutes trying to figure out why they have no readings well because your your hot is open right and by hot they mean the the uh, 
the 120 volt AC line. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to scroll down to earth resistance and notice I've got my 0.09 measurement, right? I'm going to scroll down a couple to my enclosure. Notice it doesn't have anything there. There's a uh, button here though that says ground, closed and open. I'm going to press that button. While I press that, notice we're up to 12 and then up at the top it tells you what the unit of measure is. So we're up to 12 microamps, right? This is how you do an electrical safety check. Just a basic quick check. We typically will perform this check uh, first when doing the preventive maintenance because if the grounding is off we need to make a, a repair right there, right? And basically you just remove the end of the, of the plug and re-terminate or replace the cable as necessary. 